histories. You know their background. The government at the center, at the, at the state level. They don't know many of them. Even, even the few people they know, they come from you. You know children, you know their mothers, you know their fathers. So God is very, very uh, interested in uh, traditional religion. I want to gather them. And I told you last year that we were very afraid. And I gave you a, a, a proverb that I learned in my, in my village. To say, if you want to go and fetch water, you can only look for a smaller uh, container to go and fetch water. And put it on the, on the pot that you have set. We are preachers. We go out to preach. The traditional rulers. You are sitting as the pots. And you are the father. We supposed to come and preach. How can you say we should go and carry the pots? And God said, God said, God said, no, I am the one who they are coming to me. I am the king of me. So that was what gave us the courage to invite you. And you have come. We are very grateful. Now we will be here for two days. The time is very short. And the war is already running. What are we going to be doing here? It is a time. You are going to have a personal encounter with God. Can you see and all our royal friends? I want to let you know that between today and tomorrow, God is going to visit you. A personal encounter. God is going to drop something in your life. He is going to give you instructions. He is going to give you direction. He is going to refresh you. In some cases, it's going to correct you. Some of the things that you, should that, you should that you may not have been doing well. You to hear God say, no, don't do it like that. And by the time you are going, God is going to empower you afresh. So that as you go back, you will be much, much more effective. You will become a, a more wise king who is representing Almighty God. Like you saw our theme for this retreat. He said, the king, you the king, standing for God. You are actually representing God in your domain. Like we learned last year, that the throne that you are sitting actually belongs to God. But God has delegated you to sit for Him. Just like I normally see in Yoruba land. Sometimes the candidacy is not able to go for a particular occasion. But it gives his staff of to a delegate. Say, you go on my behalf. And I see that everything they, they, they are doing around that man, what they are supposed to give to you directly, they give, it, they, they give it to your delegate. So every king, every oba, 
you are standing for God. Et tu le fond en l'or. So that's why he wants to strengthen you. Pour le jeter l'eau, il va te instruct you. Pour faire quoi, il faut te tourner. Pour te equip you. Pour faire fouiller là. Il veut te train you. Pour faire quoi, so that you can stand for him. Qui est le gros fou. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We say that every king that is chosen by God is not because the king is the most qualified person. It is by mercy. And once you are sitting on the throne, we are meant to understand in 1 Kings chapter 3 verse 14. We saw God telling Solomon. He said, "If you will follow my commandments, my statutes, my decree, I will do this for you." We will be looking at that later. That means once a king is on the throne, there is only one expectation: that God will follow the ways of God. He will do God's will. So, as a king, as, a, as God's ambassador, God will be expecting each of us to operate his policies, his programs on his behalf. So during this retreat, God will be speaking to us. You are going to be hearing God speaking to you. That's actually why God will draw you from the palace. Because we are ready to come to your palace. God said no. He wants to withdraw you because he doesn't want distraction. So within these two days we are going to be here. You will be hearing God speaking to you in different months. So he will be addressing issues that was you as a person. He's also going to be speaking on the way you are administering your kingdom and your domain. He's going to tell you, talking about how you are doing, how you are willing to so, you are going to be hearing me talking to you in these two areas. Your relationship with him and your style of leadership. This time also, we are also going to be joining and standing with you. To pray, we are going to be standing to pray with you. Because on earth, if we don't pray, nothing happens. God said, "Ask, and you shall receive." So we know there are a lot of issues confronting you in your domain. We are going to be standing together. I'm presenting these issues. Therefore, therefore, I want to beg our royal fathers that we will pay attention. We know that there are so many, 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 many issues that are confronting you. That is how the world is. There will be no time you won't have a, a matter to solve. When you solve one matter, you will give back to another two. When I was in school, I, I studied management. There is what we call proliferation of varieties. What do you mean that the solution of one problem will give birth to more problems? For instance, 
You will buy a car so that you can move. But the day you bought a car, ah, you will now have to be having issues with mechanic. Fuel. <laughs> Traffic. So many things. So we know that you have a lot of issues. But for these two days, the time is very short. So I want you to uh, uh, pay attention to, to God. We don't want to be distracted. Things like phone calls. Thinking uh, so many things at the same time. Let's put them aside. I will face God. Once again, I want to welcome you, sir. And ma, into God's presence. And we also want to plead with our daddies, mommies, uh, for the small, small inconveniences in this place. We know how comfortable you are in the palace. This place is not as comfortable as the palace. We just want to be with us. So, uh, on, again, on behalf of uh, uh, the leadership, we want to welcome you. It is our prayer that these two days will transform your life. Once your life is transformed, your domain will be transformed. Uh, let me give this opportunity to. Let us know that the way we have planned this program, we have also packaged it in such a way. There are some uh, peculiar issues that we, we think that uh, your honoris need to uh, be helped. We want to also and meet with them separately. So we want to train them, uh, keep giving food so that they can help you better. So there will be a time you will release them. We have another special program. That's why we ask you to come with them. And as God will be meeting you, here, as the others, you will also be meeting with them as the followers. So I will end this my welcome remark by saying to all our real fathers, long will you all reign. In the mighty name of Jesus.